Tuning in to Chaos Culture Radio. Dropping knowledge in the studio, you already know. Thank you for tuning in to Chaos Culture Radio. This your boy Prince Hakeem. And this your man Bonnie Bob. It's back at it. Hakeem, Ooh. I'm back at it, man. I'm back at it. I was Ooh, Lord Jesus. A couple of weeks. Huh? Lord, couple of weeks? Felt like it's been years since you've been gone. I've been, I've been gone for a couple of weeks. Had to take care of the business. Now I'm back at it again. I know people been bothering me. Hey, what's Mustang Ron? Mustang Ron. Ron Tega. <laughs> they say, where's Ron Tega? <laughs> Ron Jigga Ron Jigga had to sit down for a minute and then Ron Jigga had to come back I feel damn. like Nick Cannon you know what I mean I'm like damn I say I felt like I was an elephant in the room by myself felt kind of naked doesn't it well you know you know me and you the Cisco and Ebert of the podcast world <laughs> a black version a black version like and, I'm that. You, and we not holding no bars on our criticism no we not so beware, people. We're going to unload on all you goofies. <laughs> you know, I always wanted to ask you what do people say when you call them goofies. I always wanted to say what they say. They probably get mad at you. Oh, mad ain't the word they say. Nah, well, they say, Hakeem, you know that's derogatory. You can't call us goofies. And I was like, you can tell a goofy the way you act one. Oh, man. Hilarious. I said, the fact of the matter is you asking me. Why you call people goofy? She tells you that that if you if you answer to that, then you're a goofy. Wow. But uh huh, we got something serious to talk about today, right? We do. Um, I know we've been laying off the topics lately, but this reassurgement is coming back because we have men in our inboxes talking to us all the time. I see your boy Kenny post online. Talking about date me, circle yes or no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. I have my homeboys who say it's hard to find a good woman out here. That's true. So I have a friend of mine who said the same thing as well. Like he can't, he just, he just can't catch a break. Mm-hmm. Now, mind you, first I want to give a disclaimer. This is no bit off of Kevin Samuels. No, it's not. These are own. You okay? Even though the title might sound like something he says, but you can say it's inspired by him. Because we're going to yeah. make our own content. Correct. So, Ron asked me a question earlier today, and I said, hey, I think it would be a great conversation piece, because right now I've been slipping on the topics, and Ron Tega has been cutting throats here lately. I imagine mm-hmm. he could, you came back a new man like you was Rocky Six. <laughs> Does it say I just resurrected? Mm. On the third day. On the third day. So, the question is, ladies and gentlemen, and for you ladies mm-hmm. and men, and people who are married, or who are potential to be married, or you have homegirls who are single, are modern women the problem? Mm. Good question. You know, you got women who will have more degrees, they're getting more money, but they're more single. And that's, and, and that's kind of odd. Very, very odd. Now, mind you, we're not speaking from a high value sense. Me and my brother here are blue collared men. You feel me, saying? So we could, you could call us blue Henrys as what Kevin Samuels might call. So we're going to speak from the level from a regular perspective. You know what I mean? Right. Cause we're the regular guys that the women have to talk to after they can't get the guys from the, on the second floor. Am I wrong? Right. Okay. Uh, and, there's a bit of a disconnect. Do you see that, Ron? Yeah. hmm Now, what are you thinking is plaguing modern women as far as them not finding what they want or as far as articulating themselves as far as in the dating scene? Um, the, 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 problem, is, the problem here is I came most of the time. Um, I, I, I feel like women are becoming more and more educated. So more by them being more and more educated, they feel like they can't date someone that's actually on that level they, unless they're educated or they have some form of status. But you, of course, you know, as, you know, even statistics show that 
most of the time, more women are more educated than men, and they graduated more more likely than men. So they have been given more job opportunity than men. So when they see like a normal guy like myself or you, they see us as like a third screen quarterback instead of the fourth screen, mm. instead of the first screen quarterback. So they look mm. at us more as less than. And not only that, but I also feel, and it's not even feel, it's just that, you know, you can look at the fact. The fact shows you that women are getting married more with their degrees than actual men. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when you get married to your degree, you don't see the man as nothing. Now you see the man as materialistic and you see your degree as more of a provider. Basically. But in a sense, though, I don't know how they can sleep with their degree. That's the thing. They can't sleep with their degree. So let's say, for example, I can't meet a guy like you, you yeah. know, at a bar. They see you. They they see you as just a materialistic. So they'll be like, okay, I can just use I can't just for the night. But that's it. That's all they see. And um, and you know the funny thing you said something due to the fact that we're regular guys, and I want to keep pointing out that through this whole podcast, me and Ron are regular guys. We never said that we were high value. We're on the journey of being high value, but we're just regular men with regular jobs who are single with no kids. Now, right. The point, Ron, and I'm gonna piggyback off what you said, and you're setting a valid point. Black women today have such a disdain, and let, let's be correct about this. The ones with the degrees, the ones mm-hmm. with the, the degrees who feel that they can bargain a little bit more because they have a degree. Right. Are you following me? Yes. They think they deserve a little bit more, but I told a woman the other day, if you want somebody on the second floor, and I'm using that as an analogy, people, meaning that if you feel you deserve somebody on the second floor, why are you here on the basement trying to talk to us then? Why, why the guy from the second floor sent you down to the basement? You should ask him why you, he, he not hollering at you instead of trying to make us second floor dudes. Because the guy on the second floor is trying to talk to the woman on the first floor. Oh, facts. So that's what it is. They're not talking to the girl on the bottom floor. And now they, that would have said they'll probably sleep with you, but they won't build nothing with you because they, it's the same way the women, the modern women see us today. It's the same way. So they do the same thing as the higher man do to them. It's the same thing. It's a domino effect. I never understand how or somebody could go get a degree and go four years of college and come out of school and think she better, better than a regular person. You just a glorified payroll specialist. Now that, but I heard somebody say something too. They're like, you going to get a degree. That means you're not that smart. Far from <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because if you if you're going to get a degree, that means you're going to school to learn some more. So you're not that smart than the average Joe. Because the average Joe is not getting a degree, and guess what? By him not getting a degree, he's not dealing with the debts and the the payments and stuff like that. But you're going to go get a degree, and after you graduate, you might not even get the job you want. No, you're right. Here, here's the funny thing. I don't even tell Chase I have a degree. Yeah, I know you have a lot of degrees. Yeah, you, you know, you know, I've been to school. I've re- I'm very well read, um, and I I don't say that I do play stupid at times, cause to see how messed up of a person you are. And this is why I rather date somebody from Checkers than somebody who came out of UM. But question is, why wouldn't you tell a woman you don't have a degree? What's the reason? Mm-hmm. You, see, you see the thing? It doesn't even matter though, cause she still thinks she's better than you. Because you want to know why, if you have a degree, but you're not at a job that has a fancy title, what happened? Are you focusing on your career? Really? Yeah. Wow. I've, ha- I've had women come at me like that. Why well, I'm not in school. Why not focus on your career? I need somebody ambitious. Ambitious, these nuts in your mouth. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. And the part of you showing that you have a degree is showing that you're on your business, you're on your purpose, you're on your, no, no. On your grind. It do, it's supposed to, but it really doesn't because here's the thing. It's never enough for a lot of these people. Some of these mm. people are not content, bro. I'm just being I'm just being honest with you. No matter how nice you are to a woman, depending on what her socioeconomic um economic situation is never enough for her. You give you give you give her North Miami, she wants Aventura. Mm-hmm. You work you work and give her Aventura and she said, No, I want a Star Island. 
Mm-hmm. And she said, I deserve Star Island. Okay, you're not even worth Star Island money. I know some ghetto diamonds who are worth Star Island money and that's humble as fuck. Yeah. Am, am I wrong? No, you don't, Drew. I'm talking about some pretty ghetto diamonds from certain certain projects that look nice. They 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 friendly, they feminine, they know how to cook a good collard green. Mm. Dip that dip that dip that turkey in the fryer. Right. So I don't know, I don't know what's the issue. And mind you, here's the thing. It only deals with a lot of women who are educated. And I'm just saying this is an opinion that I've went through. I, the more pushback I've gotten is people with degrees. And I'm wondering what, what's the day is going to be when you can be content with dealing with a man who makes $30,000 a year and not trying to make him a builder bear. Mm-hmm. I think, uh, the, I think the man, um, I think the man need to be more and more masculine that the, how to deal with today, Mayan women. And I think that's one of the reasons why man today is having a lot of issues. Cause I think half of us, we kind of lost our masculinity. We don't know how to deal with the, handle these women anymore. So now they on the like serious rampage. They throwing degrees in our faces and, and we accepting it as okay. And, and you get listen, what I'm saying? you're right. And they shouldn't could, they shouldn't have to. We didn't tell them to come to the basement. Yeah. I never asked them to come down here. I was good with the ghetto diamonds. Right. The checkers, the Burger King girl, the one who at Ross. Listen, most men know their place. Most men know what type of woman they're supposed to date. If I'm wrong. Right. The stripper, the bottle lady. Sometimes a lot of these women on the second floor. A lot of these women who, who coming down from the second floor clown a lot of the women on the third in the basement floor, knowing that they're more humble, more feminine, more friendly. Some of them are fit, too. Yeah. Eating all that fried food and still don't gain a pound. Yeah. All beef, no fat. Yeah. And that's why you see a lot of guys going overseas to get married. They're not dealing with the westernized women. No, that's part two to that story. The Dominicans, the Brazilians, um... Mayling, Marisol, um, um, Asha, um, um, like, you know what I mean? But, you know what I'm saying? You naming these women, they're going to be like, these are girls you used to date. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm using these as ethnic references. Hispanic, Muslim, Arab girl. Um, I was going to say Karen, but when you say Karen, a lot of black, a lot of our sisters get mad. And still yeah, they get this, mad. They get mad. But still to this day, 83, 83% of black men are married to black women. 53% of black men. And these are stats that I got from blackdemographic.com by segue of Kevin Sammons. I got to give him a shout out. Um, mm-hmm. you no, know, I mean, these are statistics. We still overwhelmingly black men want to be with black women. So, but I'm just telling you, you have these up and coming women who are taking regular guys like us because they don't care. They just want somebody nice and friendly. Yeah. I dated a Costa Rican girl one time. Oh, I ain't know that. Yeah, I dated a Costa Rican girl one time. Spoke fluent Spanish. Um, when I say feminine and friendly and me just having a job was like an excitement for her. Wow, you're working. Oh, Dios mío, Dios mi amor. You know what I mean? She didn't ask what degree I had. She didn't care, um, if I've been to jail. Um, and the fact that she had so much enthusiasm, um, talking to me and mind you, and let's give a reference. I, you know what I mean? There's, I've met other women in culture like that too, but I'm just giving an <laughs> example. There was a situation where she did something and I kind of raised my voice and put down, she put me on block and never spoke to me again. Because you raised your voice. I raised my voice. Now, mind you, here's the thing. Something like that, and you know, I mean, this would be a whole nother topic for a whole nother show. Something like that, a black woman is seeing as a man stepping up, it's putting her in check, right? Right. You know what I mean? May, may, um, Mighty Soul. That's not her real name. She wasn't having that. She's looking for nice guys. She was looking for nice guys. That put my foot on your neck type stuff. She wasn't with it. But the thing about it is, she was a woman who did, who was not used to aggression. 
And I'm not saying that our women are used to aggression, but aggression is already there in place. Even simply as just talking to a woman on the street who's one of our sisters and say, hey, shorty, can I talk to you? Leave me alone. But I, but in our culture, especially in the black community, not all, but most of them are used to aggression. They want you to be aggressive. They, they want do. you to tell them to shut up, go sit in the corner. Basically. And they want you to put them in their place. Correct. And Which I think a man should. Uh, at times, when she's out of line, a man's supposed to give her that um, that fine line of discipline because, remember, women are emotional. So it's the man's job to be the leader and the man's job to dictate, to tell the woman. You know, a lot of women don't love that. A lot of women don't like that because they'll be like, oh, um, he's being, he's being controlling, but it's not really him being controlling. It's him really guiding you and teach you, keep you on the right path of uh, righteousness, which we did a, um, we already know we did a podcast on that when we had JP and, uh, Jabari. And we talk about, um, you know, about women and, and about the bosses and stuff like that. So, which was a good, good yeah. topic. It was you know, a great they, topic. They the relationship dynamics and who runs and where's the pain. Exactly. Yeah. But just, but I only brought it up just for this, um, uh, just for the segment because, Modern women, I think they feel like they control the man more now than before because now they have more degrees. Just because you make them more money than me doesn't mean you, you run the show. But in their mind, remember, they always seen men as when a man had more jobs, he could, he could sit up running the show. Now the woman's getting more degrees and more jobs. So now they feel like we're the, we were in the past. So now we're running the show. That's the issue. No, you're right. Things but have he, not gone reverse. Here's the issue, too. A lot of them who do make their money still don't want to pay nothing. They, they That's the thing I don't even understand. They make the money, but they still don't want to pay when you go to a nice restaurant. Nope. That's why I don't understand. So it's like when you go out to eat, they automatically swish rolls now. Now they're talking about, okay, now you be the man and now you pay for dinner. Okay, then you do that, but then as soon as you go home, they switch back and be like, no. Now I'm telling you what to do. But I was like, wait a minute. And then dinner, you telling me to pay for the meal. So when I get home, I'm taking control too. No, you ain't taking control. I take control at home. Facts. And here's the thing. That's crazy, isn't it? That's it, 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 it's real crazy. You said something that's real pivotal. My whole thing is this. Women, you can't judge regular men. We didn't ask you to come here. <laughs> no, no, for real. I, nobody invited you. You know what I mean? We just so happen to, you just so happen to be around with your woman, so we're going to talk, but we didn't ask you to come here. So don't come with your expectations and your demands and your ultimatums. Right. Do that to the niggas in the second floor. No, oops, I'm sorry. The second floor niggas don't want you. And let me tell you something. You asking regular niggas why second floor niggas don't want you. Ask them that. They'll tell you the answer. Cause you want to know why? You don't want to hear it. Mm. Respect the regular guy, modern woman. The plumbers, the bus drivers, the guy who work at Walmart, Jeffy Lou, Vivali, um, Win Dixie Warehouse, Publix Warehouse. Respect them. That's your last chance of a 30 year marriage. Mm. He never asked you to be his wife. You was just around. He hollered. You can't try to make him the supervisor at a warehouse when he's comfortable being the pallet jack. Mm. Preach. But the thing the problem is I can't man has lost his own way. We are lost being masculine. Now we became more and more um feminine. You know, some people could disagree with me on that, but statistics already shows the facts. That beta man males. has lost his own way. Beta males, beta males, beta males. Beta, yeah. Beta male now is on an all time high. You know, you know. And it, and it's crazy. Listen, and a lot of these modern women are dating beta males and blaming regular guys for beta males. Yeah, and it's crazy because the women, not all, but most of them, is just is is out of control. No, and it's it, like, it's, go ahead. No, you're right. And it's like you see guys now; they so frustrated and they put stuff on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know. All over the world, like literally all over the social media, to to try to get these women attention and show them that, like, hey, look, 
but he's still a good man. But it's just like they just now they just more and more insulting them because they say, "Oh, you still work at Jeffy Lewis." Basically, uh, why you at Jeffy Lewis? So how? So how can you? So how should a man deal with modern women today? Then not talk to them. But you tell a man not to talk to modern women? No, not talk to them. Leave them alone. Date with what you know your level is. That's another issue we got. Let so what you consider home. modern women are? Women with degrees or women that's making money or women? Any any woman with a degree and any woman who's making 50000 and up. So you say leave those women alone? Don't even look at them. Don't even waste your time. If you don't want a headache, if you don't want somebody constantly complaining on why you're at a certain level, don't even look at them. You didn't invite her to the party anyway. But well, most of the women that nurses nurses make about fifty a year, don't they? I don't I don't talk I don't talk to nurses. Oh really? You don't? Oh. No. I don't I don't talk I, I I date what I know I'm supposed to date. I'm not like none of these goofies. You got a JD. So you date within your class. I date within my class. I know my place as a man. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. I know my place as a man. A lot of you dudes need to know your place, and a lot of you women need to understand. Stop trying to make regular men second floor guys. They're not meant to, not everybody can be high value. We're regular men. Don't have a disdain for us because them guys upstairs didn't want you. I didn't, that's not my fault. I didn't go to Dartmouth. I didn't go to Yale, UPenn. I'm not majoring in medical. I drive trucks. I, I work in a warehouse. I move pallets. Wow. So that's what they got to understand. That's my only advice. Don't date women who, because let me tell you, any woman you date over 50,000 and up, unless she's friendly, let me give a disclaimer, because a uh -huh. lot of women are going to get mad when I tell you this. Unless she's friendly and she's not judgmental, and she accepts you as the man who you are and lets you become a man in a relationship knowing she makes more money than you, then that's a good catch. Yeah, and they are women like that. Yes, correct. They, they, they are women like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got some ghetto diamonds that converted to modern women, but some of them keep their ghetto diamond attribute. That's true. You know what I mean? Look at Nicki Minaj. She's a multi-million dollar woman. And yeah, she, she married a regular Joe. The guy's regular. A regular go. They used to know each other. He actually is a convicted felon. Real street dude. Ex-blood right. member. You know what I mean? She she knew her place. She got with what she wanted. And I support I support that marriage. I support it. So this is when this is my advice. Don't date a woman who thinks she knows she too, she thinks she knows so much. Who talk too much with, with the degree. Who say, hey, I do this, I do that, I make 75,000. I know men are intimidated. No, men are not intimidated with your money. We get money. We get money. No, real man gets money now. Not every man gets money. Yeah. But tell them. Let's keep it real now. Not every man gets money. Not every man gets money. We get money. Me and you could go turn out two, three hundred dollars by cutting some yards. A woman can't do that. Yeah. So we, we, like, 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 your $75,000, $80,000 job you make from some of them. Yeah. We didn't ask to date you. You was around. We hollered. But just cause we hollered doesn't mean we want to be oppressed or emasculated. So, and, 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 and you know, I mean, we're running out of time, but those are my last words. Like, those are my last words. Ladies, if you want to come here down to the basement and deal with regular men, which 53% are and the medium income is 42,000, these are stats that's out there. Some make it even less than that. Just show us a little bit of respect. Not only that, but I think um, this is my last remark, my closing remark. At the same time, I think men need to be more and more stronger in their masculinity and sometimes tell these women with degrees to go sit somewhere. Um, I don't think we, lately we have not been speaking um, to these women and telling these women exactly what we want now. Here's the thing. Some men do want to date modern women today. They want to date women that's making like 50 and up a year. That's fine. You you know, you, you do what you want. But at the same time, when it comes to that, you got to understand the circumstances with that, that you're going to deal with a lot of headaches. Now, you want to deal with the headaches. My advice to you is to speak up, be straightforward and tell the woman who's running the relationship. Because now if you tell the woman that you're running the relationship and she don't follow her and you follow your rules, baby girl, here's the door. You get the you get on your way out. Mm. So. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying, Hakeem? Like, if man were more strong in his masculinity, you could say, baby girl, I can, get a, I can give two craps about your degree. If you don't love me, you can get the hell out. Do you remember when Joe... Go ahead. Go ahead. 
I was going to no, say you're ahead. right. You remember when Jabari was saying how he was having issues with his wife because she made more money than him? Correct. The way she was talking to him, they had to go to counseling to work that out. Right. He, and eventually, the reason why it got worked out, he had to go back out there and go back to school and work double just so she could respect him. I'm not doing none of that. Yeah. I'm locking the door to the basement so y'all girls can't come in. Send me the ghetto diamonds. Send right. me, send me the Jess comes. Send me Larice, Leticia, Rashida. The one who but makes see the- how you strong, but you, but you see how you strong in your masculinity? That's yeah. what I'm saying. Most of the time, men are not strong in the masculinity. So the yeah. woman is, the woman, pretty much like you say, beta male. The woman's now become using the man as a doormat. So the man, the man's not saying anything. He letting the woman do what she wants. Yeah. And this and that, because a man's afraid that he might lose her or this and that. But understand, at the end of the day, that's a woman. I'm about to say something to hurt all these new dudes' feelings. Now go ahead. And this is our last thought. My last yeah. thought. A lot of these dudes, Roni, mm-hmm. the reason why they want a chick who has a degree, because a lot of these dudes can't really make no money. <laughs> a lot of you dudes are beta, man. You want somebody to pay half the rent for you. Real men don't care how much money a woman weighs. Yeah. A, a, a real man do not care how much money a woman weighs. Sometimes we don't even care she graduated from high school. Right. Is she fine enough? She'll be put, she'll be in the, the, she'll be in the passenger side of the car. Right. Get, get your stuff together, black man. Get your ish together. You allowing a lot of these ladies to make YouTube channels to talk bad about us. Cause you go, some of y'all go seek out some of these women. Me and my homeboy here, we we not dating them. Yeah, no. We we we, we not chase. When the last time you chased somebody with a degree? I ain't chasing no woman with a degree. Dang, you don't see me. Give me somebody who work at Whole Foods, who work at um Star Market, who work at Winn Dixie, fit, feminine, and friendly. Or all, or, or, matter of fact, if not fit, feminine, and friendly, all beef, no fat. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. A lot of you dudes want these chicks because you can't make your own money. Mm. And that's all I gotta say on that. And that being said, KR Kosher Radio out. Man, I just appreciate y'all just listening. Stay tuned for the next episode.